So we originally talked about NPV analysis in the context of uh, corporate decision making. So you've got a project with expected inflows and outflows, and you calculate the NPV as the um, increment to shareholder wealth for accepting the project. But this framework for NPV analysis is very general, and so we can uh, we can we can take this uh, framework and apply it to something like bond valuation. So here's uh, here's an example of uh, of, of that. And so here you just want to think of the project as purchasing the bond. And so um, the, the way you want to think about an NPV then is going to be the bond's intrinsic value minus its price, right? Because the intrinsic value, that's going to be present value of all the inflows. And the price, that's going to be what you pay for the bond. So that's going to be an outflow. And so we've got an NPV. So we just want to use our standard bond valuation techniques uh, to, to, to do this part first. right? We're going to calculate the intrinsic value or what the bond price should be. So notice we've got 15 years to maturity, but semi-annual payments. And so we're going to have 30 of them here. Uh, we have a 6% coupon bond, so split into two semi-annual payments. That's going to be 30 all the way through. And then the par value is 1,000. We need a discount rate to find intrinsic value. And so I usually say yields maturity, but here we're going to think about uh, what you require as the investor. So your required rate of return. So this is what you think the yield to maturity maybe should be. Um, so your required rate of return or your discount rate is 7.5%, but since this is a semi-annual timeline, we're going to split that in half. So it's going to be 3.75% per six-month period. All right, so we can add all of those inputs uh, into our financial calculator. And uh, intrinsic value here is 886.28%. Okay, so that's the present value of your inflows again. So that's going to be over here. And then what would you pay for the bond? Well, that's your price. So we'll put that over here. So we've got 886.28 minus 755. So the NPV here is going to be $11.28. And so you can think of purchasing this bond at that price to be increasing your own wealth by $111.28.